Hello, I'm going to show you how to do a pumpkin using oil pastels. So I'm using a cream piece of paper here and oil pastels and I will need a pencil. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we want to draw out the simple shape of the pumpkin with our pencil, but we're going to do it light. So I'm going to just use it about the center and we're going to make an oval. So I'm going to make my marks to where I want it to be. Sketch in my lines here and they don't have to be a perfect one because it's from nature and it's not perfectly symmetrical. Some of them have lopsided shapes, so that's okay. Now we're gonna do the next step, which is putting this part around here. So I'm gonna make some marks of where I want my lines to start and where I want them to stop. And think of them as kind of a C shape or we're giving it really big ears. After we have that, then we want to put in the stem of this. So I'm gonna make a mark here and here and we're gonna to meet towards the center and then I'll give it a little bit of a twist here. So now I'm gonna add that curve to it and I'm gonna make it where the stem is showing to where it's gotten picked. So this is not the complete part. We want to add a few more sides to this. So we're still going to draw other parts. So I'm gonna start back here and end up in this position. And the same here. So I'm not wanting it to be straight across. I want it to show that it's set in backwards. So once again, the C shape. I'm not gonna go out as far this time. And then we want to just add, because we have pieces up here, we'll just add a few little lines here. And this will give that more complete look to make it look realistic. So, now let's get started. So I have all these, I got a brand new set, so I'm really excited to use them. We're gonna start off with just a few colors to get things, and we're gonna build up on layers. So I'm gonna find here an orange color, to start with and I have a bigger one so it has lots of options but I'm gonna go just with a few to start with and then we can build up layers and then I if I have like a we could add this orange here that would be good so I have a red here I have a yellow and then I have two different colors of orange but if you only have one that would work so to start what we're going to do is you can go ahead and trace around these pencil lines that we did with your orange. And don't forget the little one in the back. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give everything a base coat of yellow here. So I'm just gonna color this in and mine just broke, but that's okay. We'll give me a smaller piece later. I'm gonna do the same here. And I pulled in just a little bit of orange. That's okay, because it's gonna turn orange anyway. Fill this part in too. And don't forget the little tiny pieces in the back. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit, let's use this other orange that we have going. I'm gonna put that on top here, or you could use your regular orange if you have. I'm gonna do it around here. And we need to think of when we're doing this, our highlights, which is the lighter section where the light would be shining on it, so it looks like it's a lighter orange. And then we also want to think of where are our darker colors of this gonna be. So that would be the shadow part. And that will help once we start blending and adding a few more colors, it will start adding the depth to the pumpkin. So we pulled out red and you're like, why red? That will help give it that warm color instead of adding all black, we'll be giving a little bit of definition with the red. So I put it right on the outside edges here, because this is the main one. So think of a pumpkin when it curves in and out. Do some towards the bottom, because that's gonna be where it'll be darker. And then 
more here. Follow the edges around with the curved part. I could just put a little hair since this would be the lower part of it and less light would be shining on it. So then we could go back in and touch this up with some more yellow. Just if you see a lot of paper showing, you'll want some oil pastels to be covering it up. And this will make blending a little bit easier later. And I'm going to go back and I'm gonna put some of this golden color towards the top. And you're like, this looks really messy. This isn't what I was thinking it would get to, but we're not done yet, so just hang on. And then I'm gonna pull some more of this orange again. So oil pastels, it's just about the layering. And as you put them on top, because they have that oil in them, it's making it a smoother glide back and forth for the blending. And you still can blend it with your finger like you would, say, charcoal or even chalk. And in other videos that I've done, I've also had done some colored pencil ones of pumpkins, and I've also done some chalk ones. So you can watch those also. Thank you for doing that. And I'm just gonna keep blending more on top, but notice I'm not fully coloring in all the yellow. blending with my fingers so I'm going to kind of just pull with a curve of the way that pumpkin would be formed and if you're finding it's not really wanting to move that's because you don't have enough on your piece of paper and you want to go back and put more so I'm going to grab some more orange here and we're not done we still are going to have to do the shading part of this coming up so it's about just our layers and notice on this I'm just curving with the way this goes the contour of the pumpkin. Get some in here. Get back here. I'm going to add a little bit more yellow on top now. And when I'm filling this in, I am going with a curve for the contour still. Put some more yellow on top. And notice I'm just really filling the yellow in up here. And that's because this is where it's going to be the lighter part of the pumpkin. Go back, put some orange. Put some more orange here. You can always touch it up with a little bit more red in here. Put some more down here. Just fill it in. Go back, put some more orange. Okay, the next step that we're gonna do, I'm gonna keep these right here, but I'm gonna pull out of my container a touch of black here. And then I'm gonna pull out my two different browns I have. So if you just have a one brown, that's fine, but I have a really dark one and a warm brown, so that would really blend in nicely to help give it a little bit darker area for our pumpkin. So I'm going to do very lightly, and I'm not using black yet, but I'm gonna put in some brown around these outside edges, but notice I'm just keeping it more at the bottom, so this will add in that shadow effect. And I'm not doing it on this one, I'm doing it on the one right next to it, but on that curve. So I'm not right on this one, it's that back one that I'm putting it on. And if I wanted to put in some of this warm color, I can move it around. And what I'm also gonna do is put some more of that brown. brown is really close to the orange, so it's not showing up too much. So maybe I should just stick with this one. So, some more brown. And 
once you've learned how to do these, which you could go towards later, is turning this into a jack-o'-lantern or something. And then you could play with the, if the eyes are, you know, the, the bright yellows, or if it's dark still because it hasn't been lit up for the night. I'm just going to blend some of these. Some people like oil pastels where they're really nice and blended. Some like showing the texture of it. Some more down here. And what I'm also going to work on right now is I'm still blending this to get it that darker part. But I want to work a little bit on the stem also. So this isn't going to be all green we want to add just a little bit of that definition of where it has that vine texture in this a little bit here this is where I could even pull in this color because once it's been picked the vine does get a little bit darker so that's why I'm going to add some brown to it and then I did pull out um, the plaque but I'm gonna wait a minute before we get to that, then just put in some more touches of brown. And what I also want us to do is the brown that I have, I'm gonna fill in underneath here to create our shadow. And it needs somewhere to set on, so I'm just going to kind of move the brown out this way. I'm just going to fade it outwards. Let's move it around. See, it's still setting in the dirt, so we could do this all around here. to the edge of your paper. You could go all the way if you wanted to with that. What I'm going to do now is just little touches of the black underneath. And I'm going to blend this in. up a green so you could go super bright green you could put the other greens in there if you have more so I'm gonna put some green in here and I'm following it with this curve that I have I do the other greens too just so I get some other values in there because if it's just one solid green and that's why I put brown in there it's gonna look flat and our pumpkin has a whole wide variety of colors, so we want this too. We'll put a little bit lighter on the top edge here. And blend that in with your finger. And you can always go a little bit lighter if you like, or a little bit darker. And I'm not having enough that was wanting to move around here, so I'm just going to add some more to it. And I want to take just a smidge of that cream and put it in through here too. Just to give it some dimensions. back a little bit be like is there an area I need to touch up that's not showing up too much so I see right here maybe I need a little bit more red and I'm gonna grab that brown I had and put just a little bit more of a shadow going through here blend it together maybe a little bit darker down here Just a smidge here. Just adding touches 
that so it looks a little bit more traditional. Put some orange back in. You can feel a little bit more in there. signature I just usually do about the same color so it blends in and then put 20 thank you for watching